If you're dismissed, if your employment is terminated during the first 12 months of your employment, you have a difficulty, you have a problem. And this is advice that I must give many, many people who come to me on a regular basis. They've been dismissed in the first 12 months. And the bad news is that unless you've got 12 months continuous service in the employment, you simply cannot, under the law, under the Unfair Dismissal Act 1977, bring a claim for unfair dismissal. So to be clear on that, you need 12 months continuous service. If you don't have it, you're not able to bring the claim under that particular act. However, as in all things legal, as in all aspects of the law, in any piece of law that's on the statute books, there are nearly always exceptions and exemptions and one wouldn't call them loopholes, but generally there is exceptions because one cannot be completely 100% certain about anything in life. And this is reflected in the law and the statutes that are put on our statute books. And essentially there are some exceptions, some exemptions. The two most notable exemptions, the two most notable exceptions to the 12 months continuous employment requirement for an unfair dismissal claim or claim under that act, the Unfair Dismissals Act 1977, would fall under one, the Protected Disclosures Act of 2014, and two, anything to do with discrimination, employment equality. So penalisation, whistleblowing, you don't need 12 months service to bring a claim under that particular act for unfair dismissal or for penalisation. And anything to do with discrimination, you do not need the 12 month service. The discrimination is enough under the Employment Equality Act in itself. There are some other smaller or less well-known exceptions to the 12 months service requirement, and they would include trade union activity. An employee who is dismissed for trade union membership or activity does not require 12 month service. Likewise, pregnancy, birth, breastfeeding, any dismissal connected with these issues can be brought without the continuous 12 months service in the job having been fulfilled. Maternity protection, any dismissal arising from the exercise of a maternity right does not need the 12 months service. Also adoptive leave, parental leave, force majeure leave, National Minimum Wage Act of 2000 and the Cares Leave Act all of these provide some limited exceptions to the requirement for 12 month service. But as I say, and I've said at the outset, if you wanna bring a claim for unfair dismissal under the Act of 1977, in the normal course of events, you do need 12 months continuous service in the job. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you are seeing this for the first time, and if this sort of thing floats your boat, then you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell for notifications or click the bell button or whatever it is. And remember, if you do subscribe, we will be connected until one of us passes away.